Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dave with Moneyology. Hope everyone is having a great day. Today is Tuesday, November 26, 2019, and this is the Precious Metal Sector Review, where we'll take a look at gold, silver, platinum, palladium, as well as the miners from various different perspectives, give us a better sense of what's taking place in the market. So this is the premium, rather, the public review. We're going to take a look at uh, these ETFs, and then in the premium review, we're going to go through these various different names, uh, twenty about 20 names that we believe are either already breaking out or uh, well positioned for a bounce rally, if not a new uptrend to start. So let's go through uh, the GDXJ first. So uh, th these uh, next charts here will be from a daily perspective. So you see here we're in a bullish descending triangle on the junior miners. Uh, we back tested here on 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 this on the momentum and successfully so far we were we closed the day up three percent just above the 50 rsi level which is a very positive development now we closed below the 50 day moving average which is this blue line so it's got a little bit of ways to go but i think we're very close to an upside breakout and as we go through the the various evidence i think you'll you'll see why gold majors so we just looked at the juniors the day the majors same sort of pattern we failed to break out above the 50 we back tested this trend line from the upside and now it looks like we're heading um heading higher now i will point out that the the juniors are actually outperforming the majors now largely that's in part due to the kirkland gold uh detour uh mining purchase and and the, some of the fallout from that but i think that it's a it's a good indicator that uh, the juniors are starting to outperform okay so here's the gld and we're going to start covering the GLD versus the gold price itself because uh, through stock charts, it doesn't update as it should. So uh, bottom line is here's the GLD daily. And you see there's kind of like a parabolic uh, resistance zone right here. And we're very close to that upside breakout. Uh, it looks like we already broke out from, from a momentum standpoint, uh, bounced off the 38 level. We had positive divergence here and here versus here and here. And, and if we just get some fall through tonight and tomorrow, I think, this is going to be well set up for a run back at toward those highs. Palladium daily. Palladium looks like it's ready to break out. You see, so right now we're testing that breakdown point right around here, and uh, so if we can, and it's also happens to be that 61 level. So if we break out higher uh, and above the 61 level, I think we're going to see new all-time highs in palladium, and we're still very much in an uptrend. PPO has broken above zero, so things look good in the palladium world. How about platinum? Well, platinum has been uh, probably the most noisiest of the, the precious metals. And it, you know, my hunch is it's setting up for a breakout to the upside. We see PPO is in the positive territory. It's above the 200, above the uh, the 50 day moving averages. So it just needs a, a little bit of a spurt up higher. And, and I think it's gonna retest those highs at a minimum. Juniors, silver daily. Uh, let's see here. So the silver, silver miners, uh, or the juniors have done best in the, were, have been best in class amongst the gold, uh, gold and silver. And this is right now, whereas the gold are below the 50 day moving average, silver juniors are well above it, which is a positive sign that has bounced both after back testing the momentum trend line, as well as the 50 day moving average. But, uh, PPO is still negative territory. So it's got some work to do to recapture that momentum. The, the silver major daily, so this is a more, more defined uh, downtrend, but we close the week, or the day rather, above the 50 day moving average, and I think we're setting up for an upside breakout. If nothing else, then uh, then a test at, at the 30 level is, is more than reasonable. You notice PPO started, just started to curl up higher, so perhaps that can be the momentum that's required. Silver daily, uh, similar, well-defined, bullish descending pattern at some point that's going to be broken to the upside momentum is really approaching this line so i'm watching momentum very closely notice ppo is very very close to an upside breakout as well all right so let's go to the let's go through the same charts from a weekly perspective just to give us broader broader uh scope of what's taking place so the juniors uh have basically retraced all the way back to that 50 level back to this trend line and now we're starting to rally so up two percent so far this week and we've got very little place to coil so you either break out or you break down and so we're going to find out soon 
what how that story plays out. We'll play. I will point out that the volume on this correction has been decelerating uh, and decreasing, which is a very good sign. And the majors are also coiling in a very bullish flag, bullish wedge type of formation right above that 50 RSI. So again, another positive sign from my from my vantage point. GLD weekly. So here again, bullish flag, well defined. Uh, this this basically corresponds to that fourteen fifty level. So that fourteen fifty level is holding has been holding as support. So long as we hold that fifty RSI level, I think we'll be in great shape. Uh, no guarantee that that holds, but I think that the probability is well above seventy five percent that uh, it does hold, and we've seen the lows already. Uh, Palladium weekly, you see that here, we're about to break out to new highs and that'll correspond with a break above that 69 level. If that happens, it would be incredibly bullish for Palladium. Platinum weekly, we're still holding. We were successfully able to hold this downtrend or up uptrend rather in momentum and as well as the 50 RSI level. We're kind of in a symmetrical triangle. So it looks like we're going to have an upside breakout or a downside breakout in the, in the coming uh, couple of weeks. Silver Juniors. Uh, weekly, you see this is a very strong looking consolidation. It's uh, been a lot of noise since back in July, but bottom line is we've consolidated through time. We haven't really gone down, down all that much if you if you look at think about it. And uh, um, momentum on the on the volume has really died down, so I think it's ready to to move higher. The silver majors weekly, same sort of pattern, uh, consolidating here, bullish bullish flag formation so i it's consolidating between the 50 rsi and the 61 level so at some point we're going to break out to the upside and and make a run parabolic run really towards those 52 level highs from uh, 2016. silver action the silver etf very very constructive bullish flag bullish wedge amidst a very nice uh, bullish market here right now still very much firmly in an uptrend so so long as it stays above that uptrend and above the 50 RSI level, I see no reason why things go lower anytime soon. Here are a couple of uh, ratio charts. Here, here are the gold juniors versus the metal uh, on a daily chart. Notice we're, we're really starting to peak out above that uh, downtrend for the first time since August. Very positive sign. Momentum is starting to peak out. So today's price action was very, very positive and constructive. And uh, here's, here are the gold juniors against the majors. And again, you've seen we're kind of been in this slow, so slow move to the upside, uh, both in momentum as well as price. And we finally broke today above the 50 RSI level, very positive, and PPO is curling in the positive trajectory. Silver Juniors versus the metal, uh, still very much in an uptrend, bounced very nicely off the 50 RSI level, and looks like they're constructively setting up for a breakout here above that 70, um, 70 on the ratio. Finally, on this public review is, are the silver juniors against the majors. And again, today was a very positive sign. But but despite today, um, this has been an uptrend where the juniors have started to outperform uh, the majors since basically the early part of October. So that's a very positive sign. And, and I think that it's going to resolve itself in a renewed uptrend in the metal. So overall, guys, uh, I'm very, I'm very, or rather, very bullish on the long-term picture, and I'm increasingly bullish on the short-term picture. I think we've seen the lows, and I would probably put about an 80 to 85% probability on that. And with that in mind, let's go through these 2021 20, names that are uh, best in class. Certainly the first 12 and then the others I think are very much worth a consideration or a flyer in your portfolio. Take care.